Right after claiming that the BJP differs from the Congress because it doesn't believe in crony capitalism, now serious allegations of exactly that. Crony capitalism and financial favoritism have hit the very top leader of the BJP. Amit Shah, the president of the party, is being asked to explain how his son suddenly got crores in loans soon after Mr. Shah became president of the party. The BJP has denied all charges and calls it a political ploy by the Congress. At this point, NDTV cannot independently verify the charges in the wire report. So I want to ask you, where is the CBI today? Where is the ED? Where is the ED? और प्रधानमंत्री जी है कहा क्योंकि प्रधानमंत्री जी तो बोलेंगे नहीं क्योंकि उनके अपने जो अध्यक्ष हैं पार्टी के अध्यक्ष हैं उन्हीं के तो बेटे हैं वी रिजेक्ट एनी एलिगेशन और इंप्यूटेशन सॉट टू बी मेड अगेंस्ट मिस्टर जय शाह मिस्टर जय शाह सन ऑफ मिस्टर अमित शाह हैज डिसाइडेड to file criminal defamation suit. A political war erupting over a report that raised questions over the financial dealings of Jay Shah, the son of BJP President Amit Shah. The story, reported by The Wire, an online news website, found that Shah's company, despite running losses for several years, got a 15 crore loan shortly after the BJP came to power. That, in turn, led to an increase in revenues from a near-negligible turnover to 80 crores within a year. The report says the company was abruptly shut down the very next year, supposedly because of losses, though the company still needs to explain what the losses were. Another one of Amit Shah's son's companies that was specialising in financial services got a 25 crore loan from a Gujarat cooperative bank. And the report claims the company gave the cooperative bank collateral of rupees 7 crores only. The report goes on to say that the company suddenly morphed from a financial services outfit into a renewable energy company and received a 10.35 crore loan by the power ministry, which was at that time under Piyush Goyal. This, the Congress alleged, was akin to the charges levelled against it by the BJP over Robert Vadra's dealings. Okay, this is, a, this is an excellent example of crony, crony capitalism. Much as the Congress did with Vadra, the BJP rolled out a senior cabinet minister to defend Mr. Shah's son. Mr. Jay Shah carries out fully legitimate and lawful business on commercial lines. It is all reflected in his account books, in his income tax returns, and all transactions are through bank. Loans taken from the NBFC have been fully paid. When you start a new business, you are bound to have an increased spurt in the turnover. The political fire, though, is spreading. But not one inch have they moved on any one of the corruption cases that emerged under their rule. Whether it is the Sara Birla Diaries, whether it is the Panama Papers, whether it is the Vyapam case, whether it is the Lalit Modi issue, and now on the son of the president of uh, of the of the BJP. Opposition parties are calling for a CBI investigation, but the BJP here said there are no charges to investigate. Jay Shah will be filing a hundred crore defamation suit in Ahmedabad. With camera person Arif, this is Nimesha Jaiswal for NDTV.